Malcolm Training Tutorials Installation Installing Malcolm on Linux using Docker This is a step-by-step -step example of downloading Malcolm from GitHub and installing it onto your Linux system using Docker. Some situations may require minor deviations from the steps outlined in this example, depending on individual preference and the Linux distribution being used, but this should be a good starting point. In this video, you will learn 1. How to obtain the Malcolm release files needed for installation 2. How to install Malcolm on Linux using Docker Before we start, a quick note on minimum system requirements. If you try to install Malcolm without adequate resources, it will run poorly or crash the machine. Malcolm's minimum system requirements are 16 GB of RAM and 8 CPU cores. However, for an optimal experience, it is recommended to install Malcolm on a system with 32 GB or more of RAM and 16 or more CPU cores. Users will want as much storage space as possible, preferably solid-state storage, as the amount of PCAP data the system can analyze and archive will be limited by available storage. Step 1. How to obtain the Malcolm release files needed for installation. The files necessary to begin installing Malcolm can be downloaded from the Malcolm releases page on GitHub. Note that the Malcolm documentation is a living document, updated regularly with the most current information about Malcolm. It is available at sysagov.github.io slash Malcolm. The Malcolm documentation provides a quick link to the GitHub releases page where you should download all of the Python files with the .py extension in the Malcolm installation package, beginning with Malcolm underscore and ending with the .tar gz extension. Step 2. How to install Malcolm on Linux using Docker Open a Linux terminal and navigate to the Downloads folder. Next, run the command sudo python3 install.py to begin the Malcolm installation. Note that this part of the installation does require elevated or root user privileges as it will install some system packages and make system changes. Once the Malcolm installation and configuration is complete, Malcolm will be configured to run as a non-root user. First, if Docker is not already installed on your system, the install script will help with its download and installation. After Docker has finished installing, Malcolm is intended to run as a non-root user. This question allows non-root user accounts to be given permission to run Docker containers. Enter the username of the user account, under which Malcolm will run. The following questions relate to configuring system settings to get the best performance out of Malcolm. For most of them, the acceptable defaults are pre-selected and can be chosen by pressing the Enter key. Notice that by default the Malcolm runtime files will be extracted into their current location in the Downloads folder. It is recommended to specify a new location into which Malcolm will be extracted and installed. Once the questions involving system settings have been answered, the script will move on from installation to configuration. If you want to configure Malcolm at this point, stop here and watch one of the Configuring Malcolm videos before continuing. After configuration is complete, the installer will ask if you'd like to pull or download Malcolm's Docker images. Should you select yes, be aware that this may take several minutes or more depending on the speed of your internet connection. During this time, the installer will continue to display that prompt until the images have been downloaded. Once the configuration steps have also been completed, you will be shown a dialog indicating that installation is complete, after which you should reboot the system. This concludes the installation of Malcolm on Linux using Docker. For a video on configuration, please proceed to the Configuring Malcolm video tutorial for a guide to set up Malcolm, including choosing which Malcolm features to enable and configuring credentials with which to connect to Malcolm. Thanks for watching.